Today guys, we're going to talk about why you should never buy supplies for your Acid Lab in GTA 5. First off, it's $60,000, and if you don't have the equipment upgrade yet, you're going to be making literally no money. Now, I did the calculations when I purchased supplies, I spent a grand total of $204,000 purchasing supplies. I did have about two bars left over once my entire stock bar was completely full, but I spent 204 grand and I only ended up selling everything for 237 grand. So that profited me just over $30,000. And even once you purchase the equipment upgrade, your supplies are going to run out a little bit quicker. You will make more money and it will obviously produce quicker, but you're still going to be spending a lot of money and the profit margin isn't huge compared to other businesses in the game. So I would always recommend stealing supplies for this business. Now, here's a little tip that you guys can use. The second you take your acid lab out of the freak shop, just leave it right there. It is fun to drive around and sometimes it's beneficial to you, but when you're doing a mission, let's say you have to go all the way to Polito Bay to get your supplies, obviously you're gonna wanna get there quick and the acid lab isn't really that fast. Once you get to the location of wherever the supplies are, that is when you wanna request your acid lab in. It's awesome that we can just request it mid-mission and for this specific supply run, I'm able to deliver the supplies back to my acid lab. So then I go over here and then I request it in and then I just go quickly search for the supplies in this area. Now, sometimes while I was doing these supply missions, I got certain ones where I had to go to this point and then I had to search for vans and then bring the van all the way back to the freak shop, which did get kind of annoying because the van is a rumpo and it's really, really slow. So those supply missions kind of suck and it gets even worse when it doesn't fully restock your entire bar. It only restocks like one and a half. But these simple ones are awesome because it literally only took me four minutes to do and that's including the flight time from the freak shop all the way here. And then once I delivered it, it took four minutes. Found the supplies, got off my oppressor right here, shot it, grabbed it. Then I brought it straight to my acid lab, which is literally a quarter mile away from this location. And then I went back outside, hopped to my oppressor, leave the area, changed my glasses to save the game, and then clicked find new session, and I spawned right back in at the freak shop, and I could do another supply run, but of course, my supply bar was full. It really doesn't take me that long. Whenever I get supply runs like this, it usually only takes me about four minutes to complete them. There are also some other ones that I know you need the acid lab for because it makes things so much easier. And of course, when you're doing it, if you notice it's that one, you just hop out of your oppressor or hop out of your sparrow, and then just request your acid lab in. Or you don't have to if you're feeling confident, but what I tend to do for this specific one is one where there's a bunch of goo everywhere and you see a big cloud of green smoke because it's all hazardous. So then I just drive straight in with my acid lab and just ram into everything in the way, see the supplies, park the driver door right next to them, hop out, then hop back in, and then simply drive away, leave the area, and then get out and deliver the supplies. It literally only took me a couple of minutes to do that. And then right after I did this one, I got another one that was the exact same as this. And I did the exact same thing again and got two supplies really, really quickly. These ones are honestly the easiest ones. And for me, at least they are very, very common. Like every time I've done it, I always get these ones. But sometimes I get those annoying ones with the van. I also get the annoying one where you have to use the forklift to put those big blue containers, I guess, in the back of a truck and then drive the truck all the way to the freak shop. I don't do that one anymore. And there's a good reason why for that, because obviously if the supplies get destroyed on the way there, it's done for. And you got people chasing you. The back doors of the truck are wide open and it's very easy to destroy them. I did it luckily when I was only like a mile and a half away from the freak shop from where I actually had to pick the truck up. I got back there with a sliver of health. If they got shot one more time, they would have gotten destroyed and the supply mission would have been over. I got another one like that that was all the way up in Polito Bay. So the second I got there, I was like, hell no, I'm not doing this one. So I started shooting RPGs and throwing Molotovs at the actual containers until they got destroyed. It spawned me outside of the shop. I called my acid lab back and I was able to do another simple supply mission that only took me once again about another four minutes. Like I said at the start, I still think it's much better to steal supplies because if you do decide to buy supplies, there's really no point in even doing anything for the business because you're making literally no money. Like I said, even with an equipment upgrade, you're making about 130k profit. Take in the amount of time it would take for you to fill up that entire stock bar 
you could do a couple of those Fooligan missions. Literally after two, you've already made more money than you would have made if you purchased supplies. So if you really want to commit to it, I would highly recommend stealing supplies. And if you don't want to do that, then I just wouldn't use this business because it probably isn't the best bet for you. Because like I said, the profit just is absolutely terrible from buying supplies. So that pretty much wraps things up. Hopefully this video helps you guys out if you are considering using this business to make some cold hard cash in GTA Online. But with that said, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.